Hello everybody, I'm Tom from the Reluctant Outdoorsman channel. Today's walk starts near Granvaux School in Jersey Channel Islands. This video was filmed on the 8th of December 2023. We're walking a loop today, which starts with us walking up Le Russo. We walk across Oakland's Lane into Rue de la Ruillerie. We take the right fork into O Bailey Street. Here we walk up La Commune. We turn right into Mont de la Roserie and walk all the way down it back to our starting point at just past Grand Vaux Reservoir. So oh, here we are, Heidi and I are going out for just a short walk, so I don't imagine it will take us very long, I haven't decided where we're going yet. Now, as I was driving to pick Paddy up, I noticed a road I've never been up before. I'm here. So why don't we go for a walk up it and see where it goes. Oh, okay, that's clever. to live down there. But this road, Le Russo, it's like the wall got knocked down by Storm Kieran. I have never been up here. Don't know where it goes. Can't think where it's likely to go. Wow. So that's a tree that's come down in Storm Kieran, as you can see. That's been the most surprising thing about all these trees that have come down, is that the roots were so flat, not into the ground. Now whether that's because bedrock is not far below, but I doubt it. I'm just having a sniff. Well, I don't know if you can hear this. It's growing. It's absolutely gushing down here. We've had nothing but rain. Oh, this is rather pleasant. Very steep field. Well, so far so good, and if it doesn't turn out to be a decent walk, at least I'll get to 
find out where this road goes. There's another tree down. And another one behind it. Wow. Storm Kieran must have knocked down thousands of trees in Jersey as well as fences, garden walls, destroyed hundreds of roofs. And I have to say since the storm we've had rain, rain, rain and wind almost every day. He's a bit lighter than he was a minute ago. And I have the evidence in a bag, which I've now got to lug around with me, unless I find a bin. Trees down. where I am, I know where I am, and then I think where this could lead to, but to say, I'm a bit clueless at the moment, all will be revealed. Another tree, no deep roots, just come straight over, and down here as well. Maybe one of you watching are a tree expert and can tell me, is it because of the type of tree, the roots don't go down? Is it because of what they're growing on? I mean... And you can see how strong it was. The winds, that branch. Well, a huge branch has been ripped off near the base of that tree. Oh, Paddy. Paddy, Paddy, Paddy. So we're still in St. Helia because those cones have posh written on them. And that's not because they're very upper class cones, it's because Posh stands for Parish of St. Helia. You can see how much it's been raining. I mean, that's not meant to be a brook, but it is now. Wow, that's beautiful. And another tree, look. Somebody must know something about trees. You know, I dug one up from just outside my back door and it was only about six foot tall and the roots went down about three feet. Nearly killed myself digging it up. These are massive trees and the roots don't even seem to go down as far as that. Another one down. Right, we're getting to the top. So, where are we? Somebody's got a few bob because that's a very elaborate tree house. Oh, but I think we've had to do some emergency work on that because the tree it was connected to seems to have been severely damaged. Wow. Can you see that? 
So it's amazing the treehouse is still there. Very nice looking properties here. Oh grey. Oh grey house. Now there is an old grey manor, Paddy, which I have to be honest, if you put me in a car and said drive to old grey manor, I wouldn't have had a clue. So which way do we go? That's got me the country man. Oh Paddy, not in the mud. Good boy. Yeah, we're going for a little walk in the country. Ah, oh. there's the girls. I'm going to lie down. Ready? Starting to eat grass again. I think I'll just do a little loop and try to just do a sort of 20 minute walk, but a feeling it's going to run longer than that. So this is a green lane, speed limit 15 miles an hour Paddy, as is that one. As you can see, very narrow two-way roads. Fields, is that a bungalow? Beautiful anyway. Well that place is huge, would that be O'Grain Manor? Whoa! There you go, folks. That's what that storm did. Wow. We're now more than a month afterwards, and there's still hundreds of trees lying around. Obviously, they've been clearing up ever since. I think I read it would cost £500,000 so far. And that was a week or so ago. Where on earth are we? Looks like the gate has blown off its hinges. La Valette, cottages and stables. Oh, this is beautiful. What a lovely place to have a walk. And that's La Valette. I have never seen any of this before. Probably worth a few bob. Lovely. I think this walk's going to be longer than 20 minutes. You guys know the score. If it goes on, I'll break it up into 20 minute chunks basically. Substation. 
Beautiful. I think it would be nice to carry it on. Yeah, that's somebody's drive. We can't go down there. Oh, Paddy. What are you doing? Paddy. Hmm. I mean, hopefully this will curve around to the right behind the reservoir and then we can walk back, that's lovely. All oh, these are beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely houses. Cost property in Jersey costs a fortune. I think maybe the last three, four months prices have dropped, but the general move is always upwards. Obviously, there's a pretty limited supply of houses on the island. Well, I'm hoping not to have to go back the way we came. But that means we could get hopelessly lost because I have no idea where we are. And I reckon way up to the right would be Victoria Village. But whether this joins onto it or not, I don't know. Look at this. More storm damage down there. Okay, Pads. So what I would like is basically it all start going right somewhere. And then I reckon we might be able to get behind the reservoir and come back into edge of town where we started. Some of you must be thinking, hang on, this old fellow's what, 64, 65, living on a small island, eight miles by six, you should know it backwards, but to be fair, I left Jersey when I was 11 to go to school in England until I was 18 in West Sussex. And I came back for three years. I went to Hong Kong for 15 years. I then came back, sat on the couch after work until a year ago. When because of this channel, I've started getting out a lot more and seeing a lot of the island I did not know existed. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I think the 20 minutes is out the window. Past a few stables already. Sort of slipping around to the right, which is what I wanted, and back down. Oh, 
Ooh. Tree tunnel. John Mullen loves his tree tunnels. Here you go, John. Poo, come here. It's funny, isn't it? The, the bigger the animal, you're then no longer required to pick up its poo. So if I walked down the road and let Paddy do a poo in this road and didn't pick it up, people would quite rightly be sort of outraged. But if you've got a horse, you can poo all over the place and you're not required to pick it up. I suppose if you had an elephant. <laughs> if you had an elephant, you could fill the streets up happily wave at people as you wander off. Paddy, might have to swap you for an elephant, mate. So I don't have to carry bags of poo around on my walks. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we will end part one of this two-part video. Paddy and I hope you enjoyed the walk as much as we did. You know what's coming next. If you did enjoy the video and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. It's free. Thank you so much for watching. If you wish to make a comment, please do so. I try to reply to everyone. Thanks for all the support you give my channel. Don't forget to watch part two and hopefully I'll see you all again soon.